Hey YouTube, this is the Art of Prepping. Just wanted to show you my little pack here. This is my minimalist pack. I've shown you my other pack, which is more of a standard size pack for me. And uh, this would be used though for just on outings that may last a few hours. Uh, for example, you may go on a, a two to five mile hike and you don't need any kind of backpack or full size waist pack or any kind of belt pouch. So uh, instead of just loading your pockets down or filling your cargo pockets with all kind of goodies, uh, this might be just a little more simpler uh, and it also makes it a more modular system that you can just put this in other uh, backpacks and just pull it out when you need just this this type of, um, of redundancy and, and uh, you know s sense of safety and security. So this is a, another outdoor products uh, waste pack. I got this at Walmart uh, a few years ago for less than eight dollars if memory serves me right. It does have this reflective strip here that you can kind of see it's real bright in real life, it's not that bright. It's like a very dull gray, but I have a light on on this camera because the bugs outside are horrendous at this particular time of year at where I live. So I needed to come in because uh, mosquitoes were all over me. So um, overall, uh, they do have different colors. I do, I do believe, I think they still make a variation of this pack, if not the same one still. Uh, I tended to, wanted to go to a darker color this time because a lot of my packs are brighter colors where uh, they have... Uh, various different you know combinations of colors that I picked up so I was like I, I could go with black and just try this it does have some uh, what I would consider probably a, a nylon or a polyester type of uh, zipper pull some kind of synthetic cording and it seems to work out pretty well haven't had any breakage yet it does have a slip pocket here in the front it has an elastic type material and a type of mesh uh, that has a little bit of give too, almost like a spandex Inside there, I just simply have uh, my Tool Logic Survival One card, which gives you uh, quite a few different options there uh, for fire making and for a blade and for navigation and so forth. It does have a zippered pocket right here in the front, in front of the main pocket. And in there, I'd simply just have a pocket knife. Uh, you could put whatever you want. I was trying to go with lightweight, but somewhat uh, of a, you know, a hand filling size. So I went with this Gerber. Uh, Bear Grylls. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Bear Grylls at all, and I don't like most of their stuff. Uh, but I like the orange on that particular blade. Uh, I don't like how it looks, but I would prefer if the whole blade or the whole handle was orange instead of just the tips. But uh, that was just something that I didn't have in another kit. And so you know how it goes. You have to uh, move things around into places that, uh, you know, you don't need it. So I have several of those Bear Grylls knives, and they're actually okay. But uh, there's many, many options that are better out now. And the main compartment here, which is directly inside, uh, and if you see, there's, it's like exactly in the middle of the pack is where the zipper is. And it just opens up pretty well. It has these uh, uh, panels to kind of keep things from just sliding out when you open it, which is good. And I have like a, a medium grade uh, uh, and full size garbage bag there. I have a bandana. I also have some paracord. Uh, this is probably about 25, 30 feet of it. I have a notepad, and it has some uh, Gorilla Tape wrapped around the uh, the outside of the cover here of this notepad with a rubber band. And then I have a uh, signal mirror. Uh, the signal mirror is made by SOL. It's very nice. And then I have a match case full of uh, different types of... Um, well, it's, a, it's an assortment, really, of uh, different store matches. And so I just said, hey, you know, one brand is not... Uh, uh, if that's not good enough, maybe another brand will work. So I got some uh, some super glue to help uh, close some wounds in an emergency. A pen for that notepad. I have a, uh, a lighter. Uh, this is just a Scripto. I would like to, in the near future, probably replace that with a mini Bic lighter. Um, and I also have a multi-tool. This is a, a Gerber Bear Grylls compact uh, multi-tool. I'd probably replace that as well with a more lightweight and compact Leatherman. Uh, and during the in the future, uh, I have this uh, whistle. I'd probably also downsize to a Fox 40 classic whistle, but this Fox 40 uh, uh, Sharks is uh, is pretty decent and pretty loud. And uh, also, I have in this particular pocket here, uh, as you can see, these th these things that are tethered on this uh, keeper is in this mesh bag. I, I just had it open for this demonstration. <clears throat> demonstration. And um, I have this little light here, which is very bright. Very bright. It's kind of like a replica of the photon lights. Photon lights are much better, but uh, I will say I don't have uh, 10 to 12 dollars for a mini keychain light, and for the for the number of that I would need, um, 
I would basically uh, be broke. So you can get those on Amazon for like 50 cents. And they have the new LEDs in them. Now this, this back pocket that is uh, up against the body, uh, normally I would have some cash and some hand toilets. Uh, I took them out. Uh, uh, I needed the cash <laughs> so, so and the hand toilets to clean my, my hands off recently. So I need to replenish those items. Something you always have to do. And so that, that concludes this uh, minimalist pack. Uh, as you can probably tell, I, I left out two things that I really needed in there. Uh, food bars, uh, which I will go uh, probably this week and get me a box and, and distribute a, you know two or three food bars in, in various packs. I'm lacking that in almost all my packs. Uh, and, and secondly, uh, I have a, um, a very small um, a straw filter. It's less than an ounce and very small form factor. It's two pieces you put together and you can uh, pretty much get uh, about 30 gallons of filtration uh, made by... Uh, Aqua, aqua fur or aqua, aqua mira. I'm sorry, aqua mira, I believe, and it's the frontier model. If you've seen those on Amazon, sometimes you can get them for less than ten dollars. They're very cool. So I gotta go find that and put that in here. But that concludes the minimalist pack. Um, and uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you are into minimalist uh, camping and hiking, uh, and, uh, or just various outdoor, uh, you know, type of adventures, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend, and share and like this video if you would, uh, if you'd be so kind. And um, I'll have more videos in the very near future. Uh, just to let you also know, this pack when it's loaded down, it's probably between 16 to 18 ounces. So we're talking about a pound, just a hair over a pound probably. Very nice for just going out and for a walk and just knowing and having the peace of mind that you have capabilities. Maybe not a lot, but enough that you could probably spend at least one night minimum uh, if you really had to. So uh, as always, be safe. I'll catch you real soon.